This is the sixth video in a series intended to help you find records about your ancestors who lived in Italy by using the features in the Family Search Research Wiki. In this lesson, you'll be learning how to write for a birth, marriage, or death certificate. In lessons three through five, you learned how to find those certificates online. You'll see that the certificates available online only go up to, say, 1923, with later certificates being protected for the privacy of the individuals they are about. However, those are usually available to genealogists if you write for them. Certificates typically are held in a local office, and then a copy of the record is sent to a provincial archive. Sometimes a certificate missing from the provincial archives can still be found in the local office. Find your province page by going to the Italy main page and scrolling down to the appropriate province. Here is the Italy genealogy main page. Select the province that you need. On any province page, you will find information on what records are online and a link to access them. In this case, records after 1923, you would write letters for. From the table of contents, you can click on Writing for Civil Registration Certificates. Here you will find a link to an address list for all the municipalities. Complete this address using the street address you got from that list. This address goes directly to the Civil Registration Office or you can write to the state or provincial office using this address. Then you will go to this Italy letter writing guide. There's a lot of introductory material that I suggest that you read, particularly information on how to send money and return postage through the mail. Jumping to this section, how to write a letter in Italian, you will find a basic outline. I have copied this outline into a word processor where I will build the letter piece by piece. First, you will want to put the date in Italian. You can actually just highlight and copy anything that you need and paste it into your letter. Next, I need the name and address. I showed you earlier how to get that. This is the commune I am writing to. Next, we are looking for the greeting. This greeting you use for writing to a church, so we want this greeting for government offices. Next, we will write a brief introduction. You are introducing yourself and your interest in genealogy, that your ancestors came from that town, that you're now going to give information about the person that you're looking for. There is our introduction. Next, we will give as much biographical information as we know about the relative we are inquiring about. The letter writing guide provides several options. I'm just going to select name, birth date, birthplace, and father's name in this case. Next, we will give details on exactly what it is we're asking for. In the letter writing guide, you will find a range of different requests. I'm going to use number seven and ask them to check their birth registers for her birth and number eight, asking them to send me a complete extract of the birth record. I am going to use number 15 and ask them to let me know if it's possible to get a photocopy and what that would cost. It's better to just ask for a small amount of information until you've established a relationship with that office. Next is the referral request. Here we ask them, if you don't have the necessary records, please tell me where they are. If you're unable to do the search, please recommend somebody. Next, you need to discuss payment. You can either enclose some money the first time, or you can ask them to advise you on how they wish to be paid. Finally, we do closing remarks where we thank them in advance and say sincerely, sign it and give your return address. With the help of the Family Research Wiki, it will be easy for you to write a letter in Italian to get the records that you need. Now you try it. Figure out if you need a birth, marriage, or death certificate 
and try your hand at writing a letter using the Italian Letter Writing Guide.